If you traveled back in time to the Mesozoic era, the Utah Raptor would probably be the last dinosaur you would ever want to come across. You might be thinking, wouldn't a T-Rex or some other larger carnivore be way more terrifying than a raptor? And to that, I'd argue that a T-Rex would most likely just ignore human prey, as it was just simply too small to be worth the effort. But as for Utah Raptor, you'd be the perfect size meal. Not only would it hunt and kill you, but you'd likely die in one of the worst ways imaginable. The Utah Raptor lived in the early Cretaceous around 139 to 135 million years ago in what is now Utah and its surrounding regions. Utah Raptors were dromaeosaurids, or better known as raptors, a group that includes the iconic Velociraptor, Deinonychus, and others, but none were more lethal or terrifying than the Utah Raptor. Utah Raptor was big, much bigger than what most people imagine when they hear the word raptor. The Utah Raptor is the largest known raptor and was 20 to 23 feet in length and stood as tall as a grown man and typically weighed around 1,100 pounds, about the same size as a modern day grizzly bear but faster, more agile, and far more violent. Its skull was long and narrow, filled with serrated teeth designed not just to kill but to rip and tear through flesh, delivering a painful and messy end to any unfortunate prey that crossed its path. But the horror doesn't end there. Utah Raptor, just like other raptor species, possessed the iconic sickle claw on their feet, which can grow up to nine and a half inches in length. And contrary to popular belief, their sickle claw wasn't used to slash through prey or disembowel fat kids. Paleontologists generally agree that they likely use their sickle claws to pin down struggling prey, driving them in like knives using their full body weight to hold the animals against the ground, extremely reminiscent of the way modern raptors handle their prey. But one of the most striking features of Utah Raptor's limbs were its massive hind legs. Like other dromaeosaurids, Utah Raptor's hind legs were built for strength and speed. But in its case, they were much more robust than those of smaller raptors. These large muscular legs allowed Utah Raptor to spring quickly, with some estimates suggesting it could reach up to speeds of up to 30 to 40 miles per hour. Though not as powerful as its hind limbs, Utah Raptor's forelimbs were so strong and equipped with three sharp curved claws. These claws could have been used to help grasp and hold onto prey or to assist in climbing or maintaining balance. While no Utah Raptor fossil was ever found with feathers, many of its dromaeosaurids relatives were found with feathers, leading most scientists to agree that Utah Raptor probably had them too. These feathers likely helped them retain warmth, but they also may have served other purposes, such as for mating purposes or protecting eggs. Some researchers even suggest that the feathers could have improved balance and maneuverability during high-speed chases or sharp turns, making an already lethal predator even more effective. Combined with its powerful build and vicious weaponry, these traits helped cement Utah Raptor as the apex predator of its ecosystem. The story of Utah Raptor's discovery begins in the early 1990s. A team of paleontologists digging in Utah's Dalton Wells quarry uncovered fossil remains that didn't quite match anything they've ever seen before. They found massive claws, thick leg bones, and a set of predatory features far more exaggerated than any other known raptor. At first, some of its bones were misidentified or lumped in with other species, but a few years later in 1993, paleontologist James Kirkland officially described the animal as Utah Raptor, Ostromyzae. The name was a nod to John Ostrom, who helped redefine the image of dinosaurs as active bird-like predators. Its fossils were found in what is called the Cedar Mountain Formation, a geologic layer rich with early Cretaceous remains. These rocks date back 139 to 135 million years ago placing Utah Raptor far earlier in time than its smaller cousins like Deinonychus and Velociraptor. This challenged previous ideas about a raptor evolution. Instead of getting large over time, it now appeared that some raptors started out as big and then evolved into smaller, faster species later on. But one of the most interesting finds came years later. In 2001, a block of sandstone was unearthed containing several Utah Raptors buried together around the same prey item. If confirmed, it suggests that these predators may have hunted in coordinated packs. That's the kind of detail that pushes Utah Raptor from scary into nightmare territory. However, I'll get into this more later. Most other raptor species were pursued predators relying on speed and agility to relentlessly chase down their prey, similar to a modern day wolf or cheetah. But Utah Raptor was different. Utah Raptor was believed to be an ambush predator, one that relied more on patience, power, and explosive bursts of violence, rather than prolonged chases akin to modern day tigers or lions. Utah Raptor was simply too large to chase prey over long distances like its smaller relatives. Instead, it likely used its environment to its advantage, staying hidden amongst the dense vegetation or rocky outcrops, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And when it did, the prey stood no chance. Once Utah Raptors would pounce on its target, it would stab its massive sickle claws into its prey like an eagle crushing a rabbit under its talons and it would use its full weight and powerful limbs to keep its prey locked in place. Once immobilized, the raptor could deliver bite after bite, eating the animal alive if necessary. And Utah Raptor wasn't after just small prey either. It was believed in mainly hunted iguanodons, dinosaurs that weighed up to 10,000 pounds, meaning Utah Raptor was hunting prey 10 times its size, 
truly cementing it as one of the most savage dinosaurs to ever exist. But did it hunt alone or in packs? This is still widely debated since it's pretty hard to prove, but we do have some evidence to suggest this. A fossil block discovered in Utah contains the remains of multiple Utah raptors, adults, juveniles, and possible prey animal, all preserved together. Some paleontologists believe this supports the idea of pack hunting, but others think it may have been a case of several individuals drawn to the same carcass. One leading theory is that a large iguanodont died and solitary Utah raptors arrived one by one to scavenge. Eventually, they may have become trapped or buried together due to a sudden environmental event, such as a landslide or flooding. Now, whether this behavior was true cooperation or just coincidence remains unclear, much like the overall social habits of Utah Raptor itself. One thing's for certain, if Utah Raptor truly hunted in packs, they would have been among the most terrifying predators to ever walk the earth. When picturing the world of Utah Raptor, it's easy to imagine a dry desert like Utah we know today. But 135 million years ago, things were very different. During the early Cretaceous period, the area that's now Utah was a lush, semi-arid environment filled with dense vegetation, floodplains, and river systems. It wasn't a jungle, but it was far from barren. This landscape, known as the Cedar Mountain Formation, was an ecosystem teeming with life. Utah raptor lived alongside large herbivorous dinosaurs like iguanodonts, which were bulky, plant-eating creatures weighing several tons. These slow-moving giants were likely the main course for Utah raptor, whether hunted alive or scavenged. Other herbivores, such as early ankylosaurs with their armored backs, also roamed the same terrain. These would have been a risky target, but a desperate raptor might have still went after one. Utah raptor was king in the Cedar Mountain Formation. It's very likely that Utah raptor was the largest predator of its ecosystem. While other carnivores may have existed in the region, none match its sheer bulk, strength, or weaponry. There is no fossil evidence of larger theropods living alongside it during its time, meaning Utah raptor likely sat unchallenged at the top of the food chain. There was also small mammals, turtles, and early birds roaming that ecosystem, many of them probably going unnoticed by larger dinosaurs. The terrain itself likely played a role in its ambush tactics. Rocky outcrops, thick patches of trees, and muddy riverbanks could have all been used as natural cover. A creature that big couldn't chase down prey forever, but if it stayed hidden just long enough, it wouldn't need to. This environment helped shape the Utah Raptor into what it was. A brutal and intelligent predator, thriving in a world full of opportunity and danger. Utah Raptor wasn't just another dinosaur, it was a nightmare made real. At over 20 feet long, weighing just as much as a grizzly bear, and armed with claws and teeth built for killing, this predator stood at the top of its food chain in one of the most dangerous ecosystems of the early Cretaceous. In the end, Utah raptor represents more than just a fascinating fossil. It's a symbol of nature at its most extreme, a killer shaped by a brutal world honed by evolution and buried for millions of years until we finally were lucky enough to dig it up. If dinosaurs had monsters, Utah raptor was theirs. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you left a like and subscribed. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave one in the comments below. And I'll see you all soon. Take care.